what's happening at Utopia Farms today. We're setting up the dividing wall for the Dorsets. This is a much bigger group. A ram lamb can easily cover 20 ewes. Yes, uh, he's probably a ram we're going to keep. So, let's get started. Pippi! Pippi, where are you? Scotty, hi! Hi, Scotty! Hi! Hi, Pippi! Love Scotty. You just love Scotty. You think Scotty's your dad? Hi. Look at how clever. Oh, I do think they like to roll like that. Oh, and it's Benny. You like Benny too. Benny's got a tail you can play with. Are you gonna play with Benny's tail? Come here. Max isn't interested. Look at him. Pippi! Watch out. Don't step on him. Yeah. He's easy to step on. He's smaller than your foot. Look at him. Hi, Pippi. Come here. Come here. You're showing off just a little bit. Yeah, you're showing off just a little. Just a little. Yes, he is, honey. Everyone's by, everyone's by the fans still, as you can see, at, or at the drinkers. Sure sign that the hot weather's still with us. We'll get these girls all looked after and we'll head on over to the coverall to see how they made out with that fresh green hay that Arnie fed them yesterday. Oh, and I almost didn't notice hot lips there. Hi, hot lips. Turn away, don't be shy. Nobody cares about your teeth. You're lovely, sweetheart. <laughs> Every time I put the camera on her, she goes away. There you go. You're a sweetheart. You are. We all love you. Uh, how you doing? You're always at the drinker. That's good. Keep well hydrated. Are those good minerals? Yeah, they are. And I got you some salt too. Just in case. Hi. Hi, you two. Hi, hot lips. You're lovely. Come on. I know. You're just, you're, you're just feeling a little shy today. I don't know why. Here's a sheep using her reasoning skills. She figured out Oh, now she stopped, but she was going in that doorway there, and she's tall enough that she could rub her back on that opening on the bar across. So she was giving herself a good scratch. Pretty sure this one's a female. 
and today when she was eating her food, I actually touched her for the first time. The females are the ones that I can't get close to. So the more I can win over of the females, the better, because they're the problem in the barn. I know the males get them pregnant, but they actually have the litters. So my goal is more to spay the females and then all the males that want can come here. Um, but I don't need females around. So I'm not sure, maybe she is a male, but, but I, I'm thinking she's a female and she's very pretty. This is the barn that Arnie fed the green hay to yesterday. And he's just uh, shoveling out the dregs for bedding. But they ate the whole thing. Now they're gonna wonder why they're not getting the same beautiful hay again this morning. <laughs> because they got a fresh bale last night if you watched our video. I'm going to visit the dog. See? I'm going to visit your little animal. Show us how you're going to be a killer. Come on, Pippi. Hey, Pippi. Pippi, what's this, Pippi? It's looking nice. Oh, look. Cats are bird... <laughs> Cats are killers. I think he wants something to fight back, eh? Well, I knew he would bring it in the barn. He's taken it in the barn once, and I figured a real toy would get lost real quick. He wants to play with Ben. Yeah. Hi, Pippi. Wait till you catch me doing that to a la real lamb. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Pepe, you're clever. You're really clever. Is he fuzzy? Where's he going though? I'm probably going to put it in a stash somewhere. <laughs> Now the others are watching. Mike, what's Pippi got? I didn't. I had a ball of wool, but I thought that he'd get tangled in it. Maybe. Okay, we took the last of the little ram lamb Spartacus and little Mister out, and we're gonna join him with these other little rams. Um, okay. they, they might come over. Okay, we just finished vaccinating the stragglers. The ewe lambs are done and we just did the ram lambs. And now we're moving sheep to different areas again. So these little straggler ram lambs are going to go back. The straggler ewe lambs join the older ewe lambs, the replacements. And these are the ewe, these are their sisters right here. They've come to see them. But this way over here, they can go outside all the time. There, they should like this because this is, they just came from this paddock, so 
they'll be a little happier here. Okay, we're just gonna get these dorsets out of here, put them in the other barn, and we'll be sorting them after lunch. quite happy because we've been sorting sheep and they're all excited. <laughs> Big Betty is going to get pulled out and get put in with the ewe lambs because she's not going to be working this year. Ben. And now we have all the Dorsets and Suffolk separated. So we got, we got Big Betty out. She's our retirement ewe, and we got two call ewes out. For now, they're just gonna go in with the replacement ewe lambs out to pasture. One of them broke her leg or dislocated her hip or something last lambing, and one of them had bad mastitis,
would, uh, I would, uh, We could move this group to the back right now. Okay. And who's this group for? Hamish. Hamish. And I think that Hamish would go back wall. If you could get him caught in that middle section. Oh. We had um, sold so many Dorsets this year. The, the second group of Dorsets is really small. We got 13 in one group and 14 in another. And two were calls. So green dots are Hamish. And we decided to use Klondike because we never used him before. And he's going to be in the other group. Okay, right now we're setting up the dividing wall for the Dorsets. Okay, the other Dorset ram we used was Klondike. We were going to use cash, but we've never given Klondike a try. So they're, they're brothers, basically. So we're going to Rotate the two of them. Now we're going to bring the suffix over. This is a much bigger group. It's funny because every time they get away on me, it's my fault. And when they get away on Arnie, it's my fault. Get in, get in, you girls. Okay, so the suffix are sorted. We did Hilton's group first because we were afraid that there would be a lot of Hilton lambs. So he's got a big group. He's got, I think, 42 ewes in his group. And. I'm thinking that we're going to use some um, knockouts. Our, our ram lamb from last, that was born in uh, January 1st, I think. I'm going to call him Maverick. We have 20 ewes here, and that's plenty. A ram lamb can easily cover 20 ewes. And he's a humdinger. We just put Hilton in the group. He's pretty excited about the whole thing. And uh, Klondike's been at the back in with his group. And he's been having a humdinger of an afternoon with the ladies. Where did he go? Oh, he's over there. So the only thing, we have one more Suffolk ram to grab. It's getting late, so we might just wait to grab him in the morning. We were going to use Monty, and we still could. But um, we're afraid that he's a little too big. And we'd like to get someone sh a little shorter. So yeah, Hilton's got a lot of use. We might pull a few out and add them to this group. 
Just going through our rams to see if there's anyone in here we'd like to use. And we pulled out this guy, who's a humdinger. Uh, QR though. But, and we were going to use him for sure. And just discovered that uh, he's from Hilton, so we can't put him in that group of 20 ewes because there's a whole bunch of Hilton and Quincy lambs in there. But we're just going to mark him now because uh, he's probably a ram we're going to keep. Take a look at the back here, Because he's uh, nice and short. I actually like him better than his dad. Take a look at the back here. Oh, yeah. He's way better than the dad. He's got a uh, nice fleece on, too. That thick wool. I, I he's not so um, bully-looking as his dad. Okay, I'm going to mark okay, him, okay? Well, it shows you what his dad can produce, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to go mark him, okay? This is the other ram that we considered using. Um, he's from Quincy. He doesn't look good there. And he's an RR. He actually does look good. He's um, another ram that's really, really nice. Put your leg up, honey. Put your leg up. There we go. But again, he's related to everybody in that group 20. So next year we are going to, we're going to put marks on these and these guys, if they don't sell, um, we got two humdinger lambs. These would be yearlings for sale. Um, but we're going to, if we don't sell these two, these two will probably for sure be in our breeding program next year. We just have to move these yearling, well, almost. These are the ram lambs. Hey buddies, go on, shh, shh, keep going. Good boys. Now we gotta get them over to the other barn. So they're moving to a new barn now. Shh, shh, shh. Stay here, Max. They don't know the gate there. No. And they can't see that hole. Come on. Well, thanks for watching today. I'm heading in to make dinner, and I think Arnie's going to continue on with the next video to see how the sheep did overnight. So, until that time, bye for now, and thanks for watching.